about quantum state transfer in open quantum systems. Uh, this is my outline. Firstly, I will present a brief introduction to quantum state transfer, then uh, a review and new results of quantum state transfer in lossless system will be shown. Then uh, I will add uh, losses to the system and hence some results of quantum state transfer in the presence of losses will be presented, uh, then some preliminary results on synchronization uh, will be shown, and finally I will introduce some conclusions and outlook. Let's start. Um, nowadays uh, some new quantum um, technologies are being developing, developed. Uh, the most important ones are quantum metrology, quantum communications, and So, uh, and quantum computing. Uh, 
while quantum communications employ long range quantum state transfer by photons, quantum computing needs short range quantum state transfer by atoms. And uh, I will focus this uh, presentation in the second type of quantum state transfer. So, um, we want to transfer a uh, state transfer uh, at a state from one side of the chain to the another one. Having a, a chain, the first method one can think to transfer the quantum state is to modify it temporarily the system Hamiltonian in order to uh, change one state spin per per step. But this is unuseless. So um, Bose introduced the first annulated method to transfer a quantum state. This method is composed of a chain or a network of spins <coughs> like this one. At whose extremes are situated Alice and Bob. Uh, to initialize the um, the method Alice changed the spin, the state of the spin that is nearest to her. Then the, um, the system evolves in time and the state is transferred. In a determined time with a determined fidelity, Bob recovers the quantum state. This, um, this model is described by a Heisenberg Hamiltonian, but like this one. So, the main goal of quantum state transfer is to transfer perfectly with fidelity equal one a state. So, in order to measure how uh, similar are two states, we use um, the fidelity, which is the most employed uh, uh, variable for this proposed. Uh, this is not the most general um, formulation and it only works when the initial state is pure. Here I have represented uh, fidelity dynamics, an example, and uh, the maximum fidelity and the maximum fidelity time is highlighted. So, I will study a four spin chain. I want to transfer a quantum state from the first node to the fourth. Um, in, this in this chain, each uh, spin has a frequency and the spins are um, coupled to their nearest neighbor by a uh, coupling constant. Before presenting our results, I will do a brief review on previous results of uh, perfect state transfer. Crystal uh, developed a condition in which perfect state transfer occurs. It is when the frequencies are equal and the coupling constant fulfills this condition in which lowercase n is the position in the chain and uppercase n is the um, number of the total number of spins in the chain. And uh, the perfect the system, the quantum state is perfectly uh, transferred, as you can see in, in this plot. Inspired by this condition, we, uh, we study three different uh, cases. The first one is the perfect case in which the coupling constants fulfill the previous condition. The uniform case, in the uniform case, the coupling constants are equal. And in the high center case, the um, channel coupling is uh, stronger than the um, edges couplings. Um, we fix the frequencies of the edges and we vary the frequencies of the channel in order to do an intensive analysis. So here I have represented the maximum fidelity in the lossless, for the lossless system. Here is the previously 
mention point in which perfect state transfer is achieved. However, as you can see, it's not the only point in which a high value of fidelity is reached. Um, when the frequencies of the channel are similar in the diagonal, the, um, the quantum state is transferred properly with high value of fidelity. Moreover, uh, the high center case uh, um, is uh, more resilient than the other cases. In order to do uh, to have a better resolution, uh, we have plot, plotted the um, maximum fidelity in the diagonal with um, the frequencies of the channel equal. As you can see in these plots, mostly for the whole diagonal, the maximum fidelity is high, near one. However, when the frequencies of the channel are low, uh, some points of bad fidelity, like these ones, appear. Uh, the maximum fidelity is determined by the eigenvalues of the, Hamilton, the system Hamiltonian. Um, in this uh, case, we have three different regimes. The first one, uh, when the frequencies of the channel are equal and they are low, uh, similar to the frequencies of the edges, uh, the eigenvalues of the system are, the four eigenvalues are closed. And uh, the, the dynamics of the fidelity is, um, appears an interference pattern uh, determined by two um, near frequencies. On the other extreme, when the um, frequencies of the channel are higher than the frequencies of the edges, the um, fidelity dynamics is determined by uh, a slow frequency. This is in the second region in which um, a gap appears in the eigenvalues. On the other hand, when only uh, one frequency is the tune, we are outside the diagonal, uh, an interference pattern appears, but this, interfe this interference is destructive, and the maximum fidelity never achieves a good value. As I have mentioned before, perfect state transfer is achieved when uh, these conditions are fulfilled. However, I have analyzed a more general condition to, um, to achieve a perfect state transfer. Um, when the uh, coupling constants of the edges are equal, uh, the frequencies of the channel are equal and the frequencies of the edges are also equal uh, and the eigenvalues of the system fulfill these conditions, perfect state transfer is achieved and it has never been reported before. We have uh, found an example in our case. For the high center case, with this value for the frequencies, we have uh, found uh, a fidelity dynamics in which perfect state transfer, uh, fidelity equal to one, is achieved. Not in the first oscillation, but in the seventh. Here is uh, the previously reported point, and here is uh, this example. Okay, but the losses in experimental setup cannot be avoided. For that, I will study um, quantum state transfer in open quantum systems in this master thesis. Uh, the system Hamiltonian in this case is the same. However, as we are in an open system, the total Hamiltonian is the sum of the environment Hamiltonian plus the system environment Hamiltonian plus the system Hamiltonian. These Hamiltonians can be derived from microscopic uh, models. 
uh, from the total Hamiltonian, the Markovian master equation in the Lindgren form can be derived. And this master equation determines the um, dynamics of the system in this new case. Now I'm going to study some different uh, environment types. Uh, we want to transfer the state from the first node to the fourth. So, uh, firstly, we are going to study the case in which the sender and the receiver are protected, so they don't dissipate. Only the two middle spins are dissipating through uh, an environment. In this case, the losses are correlated. Here, uh, in this plot, I have represented the maximum fidelity. Here, in this case, uh, the plots are really similar to the lossless case. The maximum fidelity appears when the um, frequencies of the channel are similar. However, the maximum fidelity is lower than in the lossless case, and the region of good fidelity is smaller. It also appears some many faults like hyperbolas of bad fidelity in the points in which uh, lower uh, points of lower fidelity appears in the previously uh, previous case. Uh, and in this case, as in the LSD system, two regimes uh, we we can found two uh, different regimes. Uh, in the first regime, the um, the appears some hyperbolas and the maximum fidelity is determined by a um, short, uh, short, dynamic, short time dynamics. On the other extreme, we can found a state of maximum fidelity and uh, this state is determined by a long time um, dynamics. In order to um, clarify the, the, the different regimes, uh, here I represent three relevant fidelity trajectories. At the beginning, when the frequencies of the channel are low and near the frequencies of the edges, the dynamics of the system is um, dominated by a fast uh, frequency. On the other side, when the frequencies of the of the channel um, are higher, the dynamics is dominated by a slow frequency, as in the plot, in the brief plot. Also, I want to highlight that the many faults, the hyperbolas of the previous of the previous plot that here appear as a, as minima, appear due to a maximum competition, as you can see here. When uh, a maximum appear appears. Um, one peak dominates the, um, the dynamics, while uh, when a minimum appears, two peaks have uh, similar values in the um, trajectory. Now I'm going to study uh, the same system but with unrelated losses. In this case, the two middle spins are dissipating through two different environments. Uh, Here, uh, in this plot, I have represented the um, maximum fidelity. These plots are, re are really similar to the case for the common bar. However, in this case, the maximum fidelity values are lower. So, uh, common separate bar harms more the state transfer than uh, common bar. Now I analyze the worst possible scenario in which the um, four spins in the chain are dissipating through four different environments. In this case, the, ro the, the losses are uncorrelated. Here uh, I represent the uh, maximum fidelity another time. Uh, in this case, the, um, the plots are really different from the previous cases. Uh, 
uh, only in the bottom right part of the plot, high values of maximum fidelity are achieved. Uh, this occurs because uh, the dissipation hinders the um, good state transfer for high values of the um, channel frequencies. In order to see uh, better this behavior, I have represented uh, this plot. When uh, the frequencies of the channel are high enough, the trajectory are not able to achieve the maximum fidelity because the dissipation um, kill the, um, the signal before that. This uh, plot corresponds to this point here. Now, I study uh, the same system but with correlated uh, losses. All spins the same are dissipating through the same environment. So, uh, in this case, uh, the dissipation affects a lot the system. However, different what occurs in the separate paths when the um, frequencies of the channel are high enough, the maximum fidelity reach um, a value near uh, 0.5. This occurs because there is a uh, decoherence free subspace in this case. Now I'm going to present some results about fidelity dependence on the dissipating, and dissipating rates. Here I have represented the maximum fidelity in front of the dissipating rates for some different uh, systems. As you can see, and I was expecting, the maximum fidelity decreases when increasing the dissipating rates. However, for common paths that are represented by dashed lines um, are less affected than um, separated paths that are represented by uh, continuous lines. Um, okay, one of the main um, motivations to study the detuning in the chain was to assist the possibility of having perfect state transfer assisted by a uh, synchronization. Uh, we have studied the four spin chain because um, it was found that in this case um, synchronization can be achieved even with separate parts. So, uh, in this case, uh, we want to synchronize the two middle spins. So, uh, we want to compare local operators of these two middle spins. I have used the most um, employed one, which are uh, sigma x. And I use sigma 2x and sigma 3x. In order to uh, compare how similar, how similar are the two variables, I use the Pearson correlation with this definition. Uh, using this correlation in a long time, I have plotted the correlation, the synchronization correlation for some different uh, systems. As you can see, the synchronization is really dependent on the environment type. And um, common bounds helps uh, move the achievement of uh, synchronization, the red and the blue line. Also, um, we cannot um, uh, we cannot extract a clear dependence on a synchronization of uh, of quantum state transfer a relationship between quantum state transfer and synchronization from uh, these preliminary results. And a deep analysis uh, should be performed. So uh, just 
to sum up uh, some conclusions. First, uh, perfect state transfer in lossless chains is also possible for the tuning energies, and it has never been reported. When the tuning the frequency, there is two regimes. Uh, the low uh, channel frequencies in which appear the hyperbolas and the lower points in the lossless uh, system and the steady state for the maximum fidelity for high uh, channel frequencies. Uh, the presence of losses harms the maximum fidelity achieved as expected. And uh, perfect state transfer is never achieved for uh, the study systems, dosage systems. Our results suggest that it is more important to protect the sender and the receiver nodes than the transmission chain. Uh, we showed that with the uh, chain system and the channel system. And um, correlated losses degrade less the state transfer. As an outlook, common path helps the achievement of spontaneous synchronization. And uh, obviously, a deeper analysis is needed to determine the relationship between quantum state transfer and quantum spontaneous synchronization. This is all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you.